Welcome back fellas. So like I said in the previous uh, video tutorial, this is where we're actually gonna uh, code the most important part of this uh, simple uh, scanner in Scapy. So this is actually where we're gonna use uh, the Scapy library. So what we have to do now is to iterate, to use kind of sort of a loop to iterate through ports. So to iterate from the starting port to the end port and actually analyze the pa send or craft a packet to send it to the destination address to the remote host and then uh, once we get a response from them analyze that response and if that response has a certain like characteristic we'll actually gonna print something uh, to the terminal so uh, for that we're going to use a for loop uh, which I think is probably the most convenient so we'll say for x and x is going to uh, stand here for the port number so for x in range uh, you can guess here it's the start port to the end port and port doesn't seem to have um, autocomplete so for x in range start port end port what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a packet and to create a packet in Scapy we use the um, IP class or method over here and our destination is gonna be the target so remember that you get the target from the first argument uh, in uh, the command line so it's gonna be let's say python uh, Scapy scampy Scapy looks like I can't write scapy scanner dot py and this is uh, this is gonna be our target let's say 192 168 0 0.3 so this is where uh, this is where the this is the placeholder for the target it is the second argument so 0 is the first argument which is the name of the file and the second argument is the IP so argv1 remember that Python index is starting at zero so its destination like I said DST equals our target and then um, the how it works is that you actually have to specify over TCP and the destination port is can you fill in with the blanks here so since we're iterating through multiple ports the destination port is actually going to be the port at which we are iterating at that certain moment uh, in the iteration so the port is going to be x and um, our flag so the our packet is going to have a s flag that's how you specify send flags in um, in scapy so what we're actually going to do is to kind of do the first two parts of the three-way handshake remember the three uh, way handshake uh, in TCP is you're sending a send to the host so for better understanding you're sending a send to the host uh, this uh, the the remote host replies with a synac and then you reply with an ACK and then you have your TCP connection established so this is actually the three-way handshake so our packet is going to have a send flag over here all right and now the response response and and uh, for the response we're going to use uh, the SR1 so SR1 is send receive packets and uh, it's this is actually a variation of um, the SR because Scapy has both SR and SR1. We can say SR and have all the arguments or SR1 which is that uh, the target is only going to respond so it returns only the first answer as uh, seen here. If we have SR let's see I think it gets uh, it responds How many times if positive how many times to resend unanswered packets okay so we're gonna have sr1 here so the response um, 
actually this is where we're receiving so send receive so here we're sending our packet okay and we'll set a timeout of 0.5 and a verbose level of zero okay now if the response so in this case the host is going to respond to us so if the response dot has layer so if response has layer tcp and uh, uh so we're, we're actually going to test this in a subsequent uh, and probably in the next video we're actually going to test this and you'll see it in action so if the response has layer tcp so if we actually have a valid response from the target and uh, response get layer tcp dot flags so if the flag equals equals so if the flag of the response that comes from the host is equal to hex 12 and this is actually so you might not know but this is the code for uh, for the sin act so like I said we send a sin if all works well the target the host the remote host sends a sin act and to kind of actually establish a connection we'll have to send an act but we won't send an act so here if our response has a sin act flag so if it's valid and it has a synac flag then what we're actually going to print is that port uh, plus string x so the port at which we are at this moment in time we're going to say is so let me actually have a little space here and here so port x is open exclamation mark all right and what we're actually then gonna do if this is a uh, if this port is open we're gonna do another send receive packet and this time we're gonna have another type of packet so it's IP um, like previously destination is our target and this is over TCP D port is response as port. Okay, I assume this is the same thing as X, but I have to investigate it further. So D port is response as port, so is the response we get, the port and the response we get from the target. And what we're going to do here, so we're going to send a flag R. So R in scapey stands for the uh, RST packet in TCP in networking actually so RST so we're actually gonna send a reset packet so that we could quickly move on uh, into sending the next uh, 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 the next the next packet with the next port so reset is actually trying to get rid of the connection as soon as possible and then move on through the iteration cycle and uh, try the next uh, the next port until until it uh, until it reaches the uh, the end port over here okay so uh, we'll also set a timeout um, to 0 0.5 and the same verbose level is uh, equal to zero. So this is actually basically the same thing as over here, just that this time we don't have the we have a different packet from this one. That's why in our SR we send the packet. So this is the packet all the way through here. This is our packet, and then we have the timeout 0 0.5 and verbose level of zero. All right, and finally, once all this is over, we're going to say scan is complete and move over to the next line. All right, so this is how our simple port scanner looks in Scapy. And like I said in the previous uh, video, 
what we're actually going to do is we're going to try to test it in, uh, in a subsequent video, probably in the next one. Okay, guys, so I hope you found something useful in this uh, simple Python penetration testing tutorial. Uh, if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe because it really helps me a lot. It actually helps me understand that you really uh, care about this and you really want me to keep on doing uh, penetration testing videos with Python, which is uh, one of the, the topics that I'm really interested in at this moment. So this is like a subtopic of cybersecurity that I'm really interested in. So anyway, uh, enough with the chit chat. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video.